Hey, you. Yes, you, with the hair. Have you promised all your friends just how great your beer is? Have you promised to give them bottles of your beer to taste? Has it worked with no problems whatsoever bottling from the tap? Well, fear not. The tap cooler counterpressure bottle filler claims to be the tool for you. Simply plug it into the faucet. Attach your CO2. Extend the tap cooler to its maximum. Press the bottle into the tap cooler. Prime with CO2 pressure by pressing the button. Start pouring. If the pour is too slow, twist the knob to pour it quicker. Pull the bottle out and cap. There. Wasn't that easy. But seriously, this has worked out really well. The carbonation level has stayed absolutely the same as when it was originally poured. I haven't lost anything due to over foaming as you would have seen in that clip. The tap cooler works really well. So I'm just going to go into some pros and cons about this. Starting with the cons and then, you know, end on a high note. So the cons. My tower is quite low down compared to the drip tray which means it is a bit of a hassle getting the bottle into the tap cooler to ensure that it stays on and the stem is at the most minimal level. It is a hassle, but it's something I can deal with. Now again, because of the length of it, this does unfortunately mean that when the tap cooler is idle, you do get drips that sometimes don't land in the drip tray if it's too long and too elongated. So sometimes you do get a bit of spillage, but I think that comes with anything. Now I haven't reviewed other now I haven't reviewed other counter pressure devices like the Blickman beer gun, so I can't really say for certain. But for this purpose, I think this works absolutely fine. Now some points on this. Now the tap cooler was eighty-five pounds when I purchased this from the Malt Miller, which isn't too bad for something that you can use very easily, and it is quite a small device. That's all that I can think about for all the cons. However, there really isn't that many. Maybe if it could cap itself, that would be brilliant. But for what it provides, it's absolutely fine. Now, onto the pros. As you can see, carbonation, spot on. Exactly the same as when it was poured. And this will mean when you do give your beers to your friends or to whoever you want to give it to, it will retain that carbonation. And I found that exact same thing. I've bottled some lagers, I've bottled some stouts, all of them with this tap cooler, and they have retained their carbonation after three, four, five months until somebody has even opened them. That, to me, is fantastic. 
Now, the other part is oxidation. Given we're not overflowing, and given that we can prime with the CO2 before we actually fill up, this means that we're reducing the oxygen levels in the bottle before we even pour, which is excellent. Obviously, given any IPAs, they might still have that element of oxidation, but realistically, it's absolutely fine, and I'm happy with it. From me, no complaints. So in summary, kept carbonation, really good head, small device that can fit in anywhere that you need it to. Now a drawback is the fact that it can only really be used from the tap itself. This means you need a tap on your keg. You can't just attach a quick disconnect to your keg and then fill it in from there. You do need a tap. Now I'm sure this could be mitigated by having a screw on tap or a tap with a quick disconnect on that you can place onto your keg and then dispense from there. But obviously that does mean having a specific disconnect and a specific tap for that. As for me, so far, I'm really happy with this. If I do get the opportunity to review the Blickman beer gun or any other counter pressure flow devices or even just bottling devices, I'll make sure to post them on this channel. If you like this video and you'd like to see more content like this, please do leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments how you found the Tap Cooler for counter pressure bottle filler or any other bottle fillers or just for a general chat. Thanks for watching.